Welcome back guys. So today we'll be continuing data structures and algorithm. So we'll be continuing linked list. So we'll see the deletion operation. So we'll delete a node from the beginning. So I've just made the cases for it. So I'll just explain all this one by one. So the first case. So when there's no like no node present in the linked list. So deletion is not possible. You know that. And the other case when only there is one like one element node present. So we need to like remove this node and like if we delete this node so this is what is get, getting left so to do that so we must realize something that here the start has been set to null start that is set to null and like we need a current here also uh, just a current variable uh, like we have previously used so current initially is, is pointing here okay now we need to like when we move forward so we'll just free current first we'll set start to null then we'll free current okay so that's how it works so it will work now the third case is like there there are more than one nodes present and we need to like delete this one so to do that we are seeing that we need to like upgrade the start and nothing more we need to like get this value here so to do that so we need to like simply if we'll do like this like if start that is equals to current arrow next so let us see what this means so if we like if we update the start we need like this 500 value or we need a 600 this value here so current arrow next start arrow next 200 that is we have reached here and the next part of it that is 6 600 so we are storing 600 directly here so this gets stored here and after that if we free current we free current the space will be like removed and let me show you how to write the code for it so i hope you understood the explanation part so let's like, so write something like this delete begin so and this start and we'll just take variable current and we'll set it to start we can do another line also but it doesn't matter at all so now for our first case like when start was null so if start equals to equals to null then we can say like print of deletion is not possible so not possible and for other case like else when there are present elements so what we can do is that we can like change the start equals to current arrow next and we'll just free the current within the if part and it will be executed and just return the start you might be thinking what 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 is for the, this case we see that it is null so we need to set it to null and we see that the next part of the current is here null so automatically it is a general case and to explain this i just made a separate case so this is the general case that can be applied to all so this is how you write the delete function for beginning i'll just show the program of it so this is the program which i have written so the standard library packages the structure of the node the type definition so our function is delete at the beginning so this is a prototype and we'll go the we'll just like this is the delete at the beginning so this is a program which i have written so and this start and the current equals to start for the first case like when there is no and we present the list we cannot do anything so not possible and for the other case is just simply we need to change the current start of it because at the beginning and we are done i will free it and we'll just see how it works so so we must check it so i first we need to insert elements to delete it like i have just uh, i'll insert one more element so we have inserted three elements so first of all i want to like delete so let us see if it is deleted or not yeah it is deleted again yeah it is deleted see only one element is there now again i will just delete it and let us see 
so there's no nothing and now again I will just try to delete it it will say not possible because the, the, the list is empty so this was all about it so thanks for watching it